Hi, this is John Leone, president of Radio Listeners Electric Easel dot com Incorporated. And today we're exploring deeper into our Google realm. We've been tackling the learning curve on Android software development. And to that end, I've been coming to this page frequently, codegoogle.com, Android, and uh, going through different examples. I'm envisioning an application and uh, starting to flesh out my knowledge in such a way that I could produce an independent application. But right now, I'm at the beginning of the learning curve. And, um, you know, I wish I could say I was an Android guru from back in the day, even though back in the day was like six months ago. Uh, but that's not the case. But in any event, what I did was, uh, uh, first thing I did is hit the docs after watching all the videos I could. And then uh, I went to getting started. And I did a couple of these videos. I installed my plugin, developing and debugging the Hello Android and stuff. And I got into the Notepad tutorial. Now this is really where you get into the meat and mashed potatoes of the whole concept. Um, hold on a second. What these tutorials basically do is um, they set you up, they show you how to prepare for the exercise, they create a zip file and in the zip file you get examples and stuff. And you, there's one zip file for each of the three exercises extra credit you gotta do on your own there's no exercise but it's mostly working the debugger um, the uh, what today's video is going to be just the first couple of parts of exercise one and if you want to refer to the literature this is where you would refer to it and uh, okay let's get busy um, the database type hold on a second Okay, we're back. We're in Eclipse. I there's some kind of bug I have that when I minimize Chrome when it's in a video capture window, it uh, causes the whole system to freeze up. But if I hit pause, minimize the window, and then go back to my window, everything works. Uh, it's a foible of one of many things I just haven't figured out yet. Okay, but in any event, the um, first thing you want to do is go to New go to project and we want Android project and we want to create a project from existing source here and we're gonna browse now I made a separate copy of the notepad code that's just for these tutorials and uh, see it's notepad load for video Notepad Code Lab. Now, uh, this is number one, this is number two, and this is number three. Now, each one comes with also a solution. So, if you have problems with any of the exercises, go back to the solution, load that also, and compare and contrast and figure out what went wrong. Okay, and there we go. And then we'll click Finish. Ah, and here it is. Now, if you double click on it and then go to source, go to com, go to Android, go to demo, go to Notepad 1, you get the Notes DB adapter. And this is what we're going to focus on with the next four or five minutes of this video, six minutes, whatever. Um, the uh, So you just double click on this. Now, in Eclipse, you know, you can work like this or you can just double click up here and get a nice full screen view okay and as you can see this is copyright of Google Incorporated and uh, I've actually been in contact with them and they've given me preliminary approval to do these videos and they're gonna watch them and uh, if they approve them then they'll go out and uh, that's that um, now this is the package name so all those different boxes we just clicked and content values. This is setting up some, uh, I don't even know if they're variables, I, they're statics, so um, some constants. And uh, title, body, and ID, they'll be reiterated throughout this. Um, here's the create table command. 
And this looks similar to other databases you may have seen. Uh, I have not worked with SQLite before. Um, however, this looks very similar to other languages I've used. Um, we simply have create table notes. And the ID field is a integer primary key that's auto incremented. So in other words, you always have a unique row and a, a primary key. It, it's the simplest example. Sometimes the simplest works the best. <coughs> Still getting over this cold. Okay, and then we have title and body. And both of these are text fields that are not null, and that's all the user will really see. They'll see the title of the notepad or and click on it, and you'll see the title and the body of the text message, whatever it may be. And the database name is another um, uh, constant called data, and the database table is notes. Now, here's a subclass. Uh, which extends SQLite Open Helper. Um, the instantiation calls the parent class, and we'll just make sure the database exists. The data, it's called data, and the database version here um, currently is two. So if you had an old version that was one, it it will upgrade it. Now on create, uh, simply does the database creation utilizing this and on upgrade now you got to be careful with this on upgrade if you're using this on prod code you want to beef this up a little bit um, what it basically does if the table exists it drops it and then it'll create it um, what I would recommend especially in anything production uh, not have something this simple here. What you would want to do is first uh, make the new table <coughs> and uh, as a temp or something, copy the uh, the user's data over and then uh, set the new databases, new things, either if something has to be uh, converted, convert it. If something has to be added, set a default for it. Uh, and make sure the user's data comes over. But for this example, this is fine. But that's one thing I noticed. Um, this is the context adapter. And uh, what I'm not. I'm a little foggy on this. I, I've been looking it up in the various things. As far as I could tell, this enables this program to be called by other uh, entities in the Google, um, not Google, the Android um, interface. So say you have a phone app and you want a phone message generated, you can create a context and within that context you could have it create a note memo and put the ID in your calling app and then you could contextually uh, call this application. I mean for this application itself it's not that important but in the broader picture it's very good practice. <coughs> Okay, and uh, now we're going to open the database, uh, and this is just instantiating the database helper class, and um, this is get writable database, and it returns this. So it takes care of a lot of housekeeping and like in the other end. This is close, and this is create note. Uh, what this does, it just takes a title and a body makes a new one uh, and uh, calls insert into the database table. It's a simple insert. When you insert it, the ID field will be incremented and it will be new and unique. Delete note calls a delete and key raw ID equals raw ID. Um, just it will delete whatever ID you send it. And fetch all notes uh, this returns a cursor to all notes 
in the system and then fits an individual node. This is just more of a select with row ID, but it gets all the information. And update note is very similar to the other ones. Uh, it works off of row ID. The row ID will be a certain value and then update it with these givens. And that's the end of this video. There will obviously be several more because this is only the first two steps of the first exercise and it took quite a while. Uh, but I hope you like this contact. And again, I'm John Leone at Radio Listeners Electric Easel .com, And thanks for watching.